Hi, it's Graham from Oz Lapping. Uh, this is the second part of my um, video showing uh, the reasons and the thought procedures that I had to getting my uh, ISAT phone 2.1. Uh, the last, the part one, actually had the, uh, the unboxing, so we've already done that. So if you haven't seen that, it'll probably be uh, a good idea to go back and check that out. Um, I must say I'm not an expert on this at all. Um, this is just the research that I've done. Um, I'm really happy to take questions, happy that uh, if there's corrections let me know, but this is uh, what I've actually found. So the reason I actually decided to get a satellite phone was we were doing a fair bit of camping um, off-grid and uh, even some places uh, just in Victoria we weren't actually getting coverage on either our Optus phone or our Telstra backup phone. Uh, we found ourselves a couple of times in the middle of nowhere um, and we said to each other well, what would happen if we had a, um, a snake bite or if we had a heart attack or we had a caravan fire there's no way we could actually get help especially if we were um, you know, incapacitated or something like that so we decided on looking around at first we thought we might get an EPIRB uh, which is one of those personal devices that you press in an emergency but we found we heard that um, you can't really use those unless you're in a real dire straits um, because they'll send in the flying doctor and police and all that type of stuff um, we were thinking like we could be in dire straits but there could be other times where we'd broken down um, we could have come across a car accident we could be involved in a car accident um, so we decided to get one more for the insurance value of having it there ready to go at any stage and um, we've, used, we've used it, like tested it, we haven't had to use it and I hope we don't have to use it uh, fair dinkum but it's actually a nice feeling to know that it's uh, at arm's reach if you really need to use it. So first off we were trying to work out who to go with. Um, the best uh, setup is with Iridium, they've got um, 66 satellites uh, that go all over the world. Um, they also do the poles, where a lot of the other ones don't do the polar regions. I don't think we'll be taking our van to the pole. Uh, Iridium's really good up in the high country where you've got high um, valleys, low valleys, high mountains and things like that, where you need to have a satellite pretty well overhead. Um, and these satellites actually move. So um, there is actually fallout with these because you could be in a spot where the satellite you're talking to, which is being relayed, uh, moves on and you've got to wait a little while for another satellite to come. Um, they're omnidirectional. Um, the, the phone is omnidirectional to the satellites, which means that uh, you don't have to be pointing uh, your phone towards the satellite. Uh, it'll just pick up. It's a good option if you're thinking or you think you'll receive a lot of phone calls uh, because you can have your phone on um, and because of the directional um, you'll get um, phone calls coming in. But the downside I found was it's very very expensive um, and for us um, we don't expect to be getting too many phone calls in um, only if we um, initiate that because we need some information or feedback from a mechanic or something like that. Uh, the other one is the Thorea uh, sleeve. Um, it's actually got a um, satellite fairly low over the Emirates somewhere. I think it's only 21 to 30 degrees, um, so it's fairly low in the horizon. Um, we decided that that was probably too low for us. Uh, we'd probably have to be up north of Australia or be on a bit of a mountain to actually get coverage. Um, the sleeve actually utilizes your own smartphone and that goes into the sleeve uh, and turns your phone into a satellite phone. Um, it's probably the cheapest option, um, but we decided that we're better off having um, one dedicated phone that if we're in an emergency, we'd know the battery was charged, we knew know that uh, we could get uh, reception. Um, so basically your phone could be flat because you've been taking photos or videos, um, the connection between the phone and the sleeve might not be very good. Um, that's why we didn't choose that. So the next one we did choose was uh, Imasat. Uh, they've got three very high altitude satellites. Um, the one that we connect to in Australia is sitting uh, just north of Papua New Guinea. 
Okay, so this is the uh, look angle that we have here with the satellite just sitting north of Papua New Guinea. So if you're right up there, you could actually go right up to uh, 75 degrees. That should be sitting up fairly high in the sky. As you come further away from where the satellite um, is geopositioned, uh, because of the curvature of the Earth, the look angle changes. So in um, central Australia, you're looking at 60 degrees. If you're in Tasmania, you're looking at 45 degrees. So central Victoria would be sort of about halfway between 60 and 45, so 50 something just in, in, just in there. I was very concerned that um, it was, wasn't probably a good company or whatever, but uh, my research uh, found that it was actually a British company and um, it's actually got uh, a lot of uh, the military um, signals and information going through it as well. So I thought, well, if the, the military, uh, I don't know which country is military, but it just said uh, defence, uh, actually uses this satellite uh, for talking to troops and things like that, um, then it must be fairly reliable. And that's uh, the reason uh, we started to head towards uh, that satellite. We also found out that um, the satellite phones aren't like the phones that get updated um, every year or so through Optus or Telstra or Samsung uh, or iPhone. Um, the phones themselves are like basically going back in, well, felt like going back in technology um, to the old days when we had the old Nokia phones. Uh, the actual keyboard is numbers with letters, so if you're doing a text uh, message, you need to be able to press uh, for, for C, what, A, B, and then C the third time, uh, but it is predictive as well, so it is probably a little bit uh, faster than the original phones. Um, it's got the, the normal keypad here. Um, this is the ISAT phone 2.1. Um, one of the advantages of this phone is that you've actually got an emergency assist button in the top here. So what happens there if uh, you're incapacitated, your mouth's um, unable to talk or whatever, you'd have a preset number in there with a preset text message that you'd, you'd tell one of your family members who's hopefully on, the, on a computer or phone uh, regularly. You press that button and it automatically goes through to them. You'll actually send the GPS coordinates as well as your, your message to him. So that's pretty smart, I reckon. So with the ISAT uh, 2.1, you've got to actually be pointing it at the satellite and in a stationary position. You can't do it from indoors, although you can do it through a window if you've got line of sight to the, uh, the satellite. Um, so basically, if you're going to uh, make a call, you've got to get out into the open. Um, you've got to put your antenna up. Uh, aim it at the uh, satellite and make your call. Um, what people usually do is sit down and if they're sitting down uh, and they want to actually have it to the ear, they'd actually move the antenna like that so that they could actually have a point of the satellite in the sky and, and make their phone call. One thing I thought was pretty good with this phone is that you can preset your numbers. Um, so we've got family members, um, um, RACV, uh, NRMA, all, all, all the contact numbers there. But we've also, uh, when we plan a trip, uh, we'd make sure that we had the, uh, the main towns, the police stations, emergency services, and even probably um, mechanics uh, or information centers, something like that. So um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot, lot uh, smarter than I actually thought. The other thing we considered was um, I, looked, I was looking for second-hand phones and um, the trouble with a second-hand phone, although the price might be okay or the price might be getting close to what you'd pay uh, normally and for this, this brand new phone here with all the, the uh, unboxing stuff I, I showed you in the previous video uh, it was just under $1,200. But I've heard rumours that, uh, you, well, you don't know if they've been dropped in water, if there's corrosion occurring inside. Um, you could be um, needing to use that phone in an emergency. It worked the day before, but then it didn't. Uh, although these are very robust, uh, it could have been dropped. Um, so I just thought that it'd be a better idea to get uh, a brand new one. As I said, they don't change their, their models very often. Um, if we ever decide not to use it again, um, we'll actually sell it um, and um, a bit like Land Cruisers they seem to maintain their value so that's why we went with a new phone.
the best deal we could get was with uh, Robert Clientsat. Um, we were able to get a um, 04 number, which means that anybody can uh, ring us on an 04 number, and it's at their standard rates. Um, it cost us to take incoming calls at 75 cents per 30 seconds. Um, but the deal that we've got, and it's a, a special deal, and I'm, I'm sure if you say, um, uh, give, give me the same deal as you gave us lapping, is you pay $37 a month. Um, when you first start off, you've got to do three months, um, three months, and then you can actually opt to uh, make it inactive for up to 12 months and pay $10 a month. And that actually keeps your 04 um, number accurate or open. Um, so we're paying $37, um, we're paying um, 75 cents per 30 seconds to receive or send a voice message or, or talk on the phone. Uh, we're paying $1 per SMS and all incoming SMSs are free. So um, a scenario I'd see, and this is, this is not when we need to use it in emergencies, but um, our kids would um, probably send us a couple of SMSs. Uh, we'd arrive at a remote location at say five o'clock, we'd turn the phone on, their messages would be there. Um, if there was something really important, we could respond to those straight away. Um, otherwise, we could um, send them back a text message saying, hey, uh, we're at the back of Burke and we're safe and everything's going well, make sure you feed the cat. Um, so that was the idea behind actually taking up uh, that option. And that option um, is actually, oh, there's one thing else. Uh, there's a $10 credit that you actually get uh, through client set for this particular plan each month. So you could actually make 10 SMS calls uh, in that month and it would cost you nothing anyway. Um, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. So I'll just quickly run through uh, some of the things I've got here. Um, it costs you the phone itself, uh, $1,200, $1,199, and that includes the GST. That's for the Imasat phone 2.1. Um, Express shipping, and ours came overnight uh, for $25. The actual phone uh, is high resistance to water and dust with an IP rating of 65. So basically, um, it's dust and splash uh, free, uh, protected but it, uh, it still can't swim. Uh, it's got a battery life um, of 140 hours on continuous standby, but we, because you, because you can't actually receive calls in unless you're set up, we just turn ours off and turn it on when we want to use it. Um, and I've mentioned the button at the top, which is your emergency button. It has a really low uh, dropout rate, which is uh, the best of all of the, uh, the ones we've, we've read about. So it's got a, um, a signal strength indicator in it. I'll actually go through that later. And a GPS indicator. So how it works is once you turn it on, it finds the GPS satellites and they come up. And once uh, your location is known, the actual network pings where you are back to the satellite and the connection actually works that way. So the plan we've got is the ISAT Advantage plan. Um, when you first set up, there's a $30 admin fee. Uh, most of the other ones uh, have $50 admin fees. Um, and you'll need to get 100 points uh, through identification like passport or driver's license or Medicare card or whatever uh, to actually get your 04 number. So uh, that was just a case of um, photocopying them through, sending them through to clients at and then um, everything arrived. Um, yeah, now I was, I was very happy with, with uh, Robert Clients that I've rang him quite a few times with lots and lots of questions and he was able to come back and uh, let me know exactly um, what was and what was possible. Um, but uh, yeah, very happy. So one thing I didn't mention was um, we end up getting a rugged box for it, which is uh, waterproof, dust proof. Um, we looked around at uh, the camera shops and they're quite dear, uh, but we found this one down at JCAR uh, and it's called a Duratech Precision. 
and it's just perfect. So it's got really good strong hinges. It's actually got an air lock on it too. So if you take it on a plane, you can actually air lock it to let pressure in and out. Uh, it's got the dotty foam. Um, and we've just sort of put some information behind that just to use the guide that stays there. Um, it's got the foam that you can actually pull out the pieces. So when you, you pull this out, uh, these always come out by hand. So all you have to do is basically uh, follow the shape of your phone, uh, your charger, uh, and all the other little bits and pieces, and just make sure that uh, it's uh, nice and safe. So that just goes straight down, that locks on, locks on there. What I've also done is put some uh, reflective tape on each side so that um, if it does get flung out of the car or something at night uh, with a torch we should be able to find it. So that was from JCAR and I think it was $69 but uh, very very sturdy and solid. So just to summarise, um, I'm not an expert, I hope you got some um, information out of what uh, I've experienced. Uh, please go around, get all your own quotes and ask lots of questions. Um, remember that um, everyone's situation is different and um, a different plan or a different phone might be the way to go. I'll leave uh, Rob's uh, from ClientSat's information um, uh, on, the, uh, on the page so that you know uh, how to contact him if you wanted to contact him. If you wanted a plan the same as mine, just say that um, you, know, you want a similar uh, plan uh, to Auslappen. Um I don't get any um, pay for you guys going to him. Uh, if you want to ask me questions, uh, more questions, uh, that, that's really good too. Um, just make sure that um, um, you get the right phone and do it before you go away and need it. Um, the other thing is with Rob and most of them, they all offer um, all the different phones, all the different satellites. Um, so you, you've got a, a choice. So just have a think about it. Um, get onto other uh, YouTube um, satellite um, uh, videos. And um, that's where I got some of my information. And that was pretty informative. Um, I was going to do um, information on how to use it in that, but I think I'll do a part three. And that way I can do it outside, I can get it fired up um, and show you exactly how we use it um, and that'll be good. Okay, thanks Thanks so much for um, uh, watching if you've got this far. Um, if you haven't already, please uh, subscribe to Auslappen, uh, ring the bell, tell your friends about it. Uh, we've got quite a few uh, fun videos that we've been making and um, yeah, hope you like it. Okay, nice, catch ya.